Hello viewers, we're back once again to give you another exciting action. This time around we're going straight to throws, some regular throws that you might be aware of and most you might not, but this one we're going to give you some possibilities of how to throw and impossibilities and you pair, compare both and then you learn. From there you get to know how to apply, which one to apply and what time to apply and which persons that you'll be applying it, uh, applying such actions on because it has to do with body weight, body size and all that. So, but let me go straight to uh, recognizing our first timers as you step into the uh, channel, please do not forget, drop your comment, hit the bell and subscribe. Thank you for our already esteemed subscribers who keep saying thumbs up. Stay tuned and watch, check this out. Okay. Now the first action about throw we want to see goes this way. Now there's a situation where somebody, an opponent, opponent rush into you to throw you. Now go. Pass. Now the first thing you do is just take a stand back. Okay, now watch this. On no account should you, when he comes in, come in, pop. He should not come and meet you this way. You see, that's what happens. So immediately he comes. What you do is go, pop, out there, right? Now that's first move. And the next move is this. Come, go, pop. Do you see that? It goes with a strike down here. Now, and it goes the same time. Go. Bam. That is it. The moment you take your stance back, you're taking your stance back with the strike. And that strike will relieve him of the force that is coming in to you with. And also the grab that is coming with will be eased off. Okay? Taking first step, second step. Now let's go to the third step that precedes the three. Okay? Now let's go. You see that action? That is called motion. There's no pause from his running into the grab to your strike to your stepping back to your striking and to your throwing. It goes in chains. There is no pause. Why should it be that way? Now, coming again. Ah, you take this strike. Now, if this person happens to maybe have a resistance, or let's say is 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 he has weight, now throwing him when you pause is going to be a problem. Because before you take another steps to throw, after you've taken one pause, take two pause. Before you take this, he will resist. I see that he's resisting that becomes a problem to you all right from there though you can turn it to something else but we want to do particularly we want to do particularly on that so now we said we want to see the possibility and impossibility of it now that is impossibility but we can we are going to make it possibility now now watch again it comes go step This very move, it doesn't matter your body weight. It doesn't matter the weight of whoever is running into grip. It doesn't matter how tough, how, how difficult, or whatever it is. As long as you follow that principle of motion, he will go. Just like I keep saying, even that throwing, there's some amount of restriction from my part. Which, if it has to do with normal streets, I won't apply that restriction. Now, if I take off that restriction, he will swing. He will be rolling off. Yeah, and I'll take any action I want to take, like a pull up if I want to. So, but that restriction, because we're trying to learn. So, if if we if we by the, in the process of learning, we have to be careful so that we don't get opponents you're using to learn injured. If that happens then we'll be able to come out and teach you guys 
so we have to be careful so now i have to make us know this so that when you see that you don't think ah no that's what the whole of it no the full swing of it is it goes i'm applying some restriction for that so let's watch this for the very last time now go it comes and that restriction is why i am grabbing it's why i'm grabbing him i don't let him go because without the restriction i will just yeah and it goes all right okay um let's watch out for the next one this one is might look very simple but it's a little bit technical okay now i want to throw him down but he's going to resist now how do i break the resistance and finally throw him down watch this i go and I look okay that is the how I, you break the resistance watch again we go slowly i go he locks up there's a resistance now the next thing is i spring towards him and stretch him okay that's one way another way could be this i take this i spring towards him and i return <laughs> Why? Because his attention is here. Because I have the cross, the, the, the side I want to throw him is here. And he has taken charge of that by resisting. But I succeeded in uh, the other, the first uh, action by moving in and then locking. But now I want to change. I'm moving, his attention is there. Now I had to outsmart him by swinging here in this way a minute. Okay, it is difficult but easy also, and that is if you know the principles, right? So uh, we are going to leave you here. We have more, but let's leave you with this to we'll come back next your way next time to add to what we've given you. Make sure you work on it, you learn, then drop your comments, ask questions. We'll be there to respond to you. Thank you. So for our esteemed subscribers, say thumbs up and thanks so much. And for